Yo, what's going on guys? We are here in 26.1 and I have an incredible deck for you if you don't have Fortuna or maybe Spirit Master or, Ed or any other top deck and you are an old school player for example Banshee. Banshee is the wave in the new death wave just because there's a simple boss only uh, during the wave. Uh, I know that there are monsters as well uh, in addition to the boss but Banshee handles that pretty well thanks to her uh, ability active uh, that silences the bosses and have AoE basically. Um, so here I will try to guide you through why Banshee is so good, uh, what equipment, what units is, what units are good with Banshee and of course equipment as well will try to help you out and in the game of course I will try to explain you how to uh, optimize uh, the gameplay of Banshee to the fullest. So let's start with the talents uh, or maybe with the units right. Um, so Banshee needs uh, Earth Elemental, it's pretty standard duo, uh, if you play Banshee you should play uh, Earth Elemental, of course Banshee is a DPS unit, Earth Elemental just boosts uh, damage from Banshee, it is pretty simple, so um, if you play Banshee, play Earth Elemental um, pretty much every single time. Uh, second unit, that is the second most important, is Enchanted Sword. Swords just gives you a huge, huge boost to the damage and uh, once you get to, to the 10 stacks of swords on your 3 Banshees, uh, then it is already giving you a lot of damage. Uh, another unit which is also important, especially in this weak forest faction with headhunting modifier, uh, trappers just boost your damage as well incredibly well you get pretty much max armor destruction once the monsters spawn just because you set up your two trappers on your board they level up uh, automatically wave by wave uh, boss by boss in death wave because of the modifier uh, the weekly modifier uh, head hunting three of the forest units gets upgraded every every wave or every boss in the in the death wave of course and to control your uh, merge ranks uh, uh, of Banshees as well and uh, basically control your board so you don't get stuck you play Scrapper, uh, it's pretty standard alright and here you can see that I'm playing Zeus yes Zeus is uh, helping me with some damage output and also helping me with uh, Banshee merge ranks because it is the, high, the hardest thing to, to get uh, in this week specifically, just because you get your Earth Elementals and Troppers uh, upgraded automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. But of course, Banshees need their Merdrons as well. Uh, so, um, people chose to play Zeus. I'm trying to follow up and learn the deck first. Uh, or maybe I would say max the deck uh, to the fullest, master the deck. Uh, Alright, so what hero could you play? except uh, if you don't have Zeus. It could be, for example, Snowflake. It could be, for example, Mermaid. Mermaid will, would give you that uh, protection if you don't have um, counter spells. Uh, you could also play maybe Mari. Any, uh, any hero that could boost your damage or give you protection might as well. So try try it out yourself and uh, let me know down in the comments what hero did you play and how did it work for you uh, for equipment of course you don't want to play spear uh, or any other uh, weapon you want to play sword sword works uh, practically the best with with banshee maybe you could play with bow maybe if you have it um, the highest level or higher level than your sword or you don't have a sword uh, at all so uh, but yeah the best is sword of course with the uh, dark domain forest uh, dark domain faction of course uh, it doesn't have to be a set bonus right now it's pretty much uh, just an addition um, but if you have it of course it's for the best uh, for the amulet I would prefer to play amulet of swiftness just because sometimes you don't get your amulet of growth tiles at the edges for your banshees 
um, so I would say amulet of swiftness is the way to go but if you have amulet of growth and you don't have amulet of swiftness with dark uh, domain faction then I would go for amulet of growth as well if you have it uh, for armor of course now we don't look at the faction bonus of course if the dark domain is here then your enchanted enchantments will proc throughout the uh, throughout the game uh, but if you don't have dark domain then you should look uh, as many to have as many faction uh, factions from your deck into your armor in my in my uh, situation it's four it's not five uh, I don't think you can uh, go for five since it's two forest units uh, one magic one techno and one dark so we have four uh, factions in one deck so uh, four uh, faction bonuses um, in your armor it is max so um, I think that's it let's try to find the game and I will try to guide you in the beginning and in the death wave and how to get it done in the bunch game so let's get it did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Russian market you have tons of benefits you get much better prices than you have in the game client you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code and you can also limit the number of your purchases instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems passes or deal offers with it if you want to support me please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market you can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well for all the people who uses my code big thanks all right we are getting into the game as we see uh, it's fortuna spirit master against a banshee with mermaid like i said it is playable with mermaid as well uh, you just have to play more around the mergrants of your uh, of your banshees so that it is the highest possible uh, I'll try to make this sound a little bit wider uh, let's check the equipment and uh, the mermaid guy, guy is playing um, chainmail as you can see it has dark domain he has three factions uh, so it's not maxed unfortunately he's playing sword with dark domain and he's playing amulet of growth his enchantments are not the best unfortunately <clears throat> I cannot show you the equipment of spirit master fortuna uh, but it is irrelevant uh, we want to focus on the banshee player uh, so let's try it here are the few tips about banshees um, you play uh, banshee's talent solitude spirit of vengeance decay so pretty much all right side talent um, solitude just because you uh, want that increased damage from your banshees once you set it up on the edges and uh, the strategy is to place um, at the end of the game have th having three banshees at the edges and for one at, at the very very end once you all of your banshees have 10 stacks uh, so what's the strategy of course uh, thanks to the level 11 talent you set up the first banshee pretty much easily uh, you get it wherever you want with any merge of any units pretty much because it says that if you have one or less banshees on the field merging any units will be uh, basically transferred to banshee so if you merge scrappers if you merge earth elementals swords even scrappers uh, then it is guaranteed to get banshee uh, so you've set up your first banshee you have it and then uh, in the middle not at the edges so in the middle of the six tiles you merge uh, pretty much again any any unit to get it uh, tier 2 tier 3 banshee then whenever you, the, the stacks go off you get your uh, stacks on the banshee and you repeat it until you get like 9 or 10 stacks on your first banshee then again with the same merge if with any unit basically you set up your second banshee whenever wherever you want uh, preferably of course on the uh, amulet tiles or zeus tiles if you play it uh, and then you just try to get your banshee stacks on the second banshee 
and once you are close or done with the stacks so for example 7 to 10 stacks then you set up your third banshee this one will be harder than the first two of course uh, so you just uh, try to scrap away uh, one by one and try to get that banshee and then try to get her merge ranks uh, thanks to level 13 talent of course you uh, execute uh, regular monsters at 25% health and bosses and mini bosses and at 20% health and thanks to level 15 talent like I said it just uh, silenced the bosses ability especially in the death wave so it is extremely helpful uh, as you will see uh, Earth Elemental and Trappers doesn't have talent swords of course all right thanks to the level 13 talent you get that sword stacks faster and easier uh, for Scrapper it is left, right, right, pretty standard. Uh, I see that he's playing uh, left, left, right. You could play left, right, right, especially if you play Amulet of Growth, it will be easier to get those stacks. Uh, so let's go through the gameplay. I will do times two. As you can see, he set up his first Banshee. He's merging units in the middle to get a guaranteed Banshee to get faster stacks. Uh, what I would also suggest if you if you play this strategy is to have units in the edges any unit and hit them and merge only in the middle so that uh, you always have that merge uh, to do in time because the faster you do your first Banshee the faster you can get your uh, second Banshee uh, to the full stacks and so on so on so i would keep the units at the edges and only merge those in the middle as we can see he is already tier 4 uh, like i said he is trying to get the merge ranks uh, as high as possible with thanks to the scrapper and uh, he's not keeping air elementals yet at least not so many because of the modifier it will just get too high and he will just get uh, stuck pretty much uh, and like I said, thanks to the scrapper, you keep one scrapper or two scrappers on your amulet of growth tiles and you just merge them to get the percentage bonus damage. Um, so yeah, uh, that will go. He is pretty much, yeah, he's done with the first Banshee. Now he will go for the second Banshee. As you can see, he is already having three stacks. So now he is looking for the merges just like that. Uh, he merged two Earth Elementals, got Banshee, and he's getting those stacks in second Banshee. Once he is done, um, he will go for the third Banshee. Uh, just one more thing, uh, the placement of Banshees, I would always suggest to have one Banshee in the first corner next to the gate. Preferably next to the gate would be best, uh, but in this situation you can see that it, it's a Witch Tile there. Uh, plus he doesn't have Amulet Tile over there. Um, so yeah, the first one uh, you would always want near the corner, uh, near the gate, uh, when, wherever you have your amulet of growth tile on the edge. Second one, uh, you are looking for the amulet. If you don't, then I would suggest like one tile uh, break uh, in between them and then set it up and the third one as well on the, on the uh, edge where he has now tier 3 sword. Uh, so that will, whenever the wave goes further, you just deal enough damage to uh, kill the monsters. Alright, so let's fast it up a bit. He uh, will now try to get the merge ranks and the full stacks on the second Banshee, of course. Mm. And once he's done, he will go to the uh, third Banshee, of course. So let's talk about br briefly about the death wave. Um, I have little experience yet. I didn't play much after the update, but I noticed that the games are definitely much faster, which I, pre I, I think I like it. Uh, you don't have to play those 25, 30 minute games anymore. Uh, the games like average on average takes like 10 minutes, maybe even less. Which is very cool, uh, I have to just play more and see for myself how I feel about it fully. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't complain yet, 
just have to play a bit and see. Uh, I'll go to time still now. As you can see, he is pretty much done with three banshees. Uh, that's the last banshee that he needs for where the banshee stacks. And now he will, I'm pretty sure, yeah, what he's doing is keeping one enchanted blue sword for the, for the spot stacks. Uh, but pretty much he will, I think he should try to get rid of that uh, as he has two banshees with full sword stacks and only one banshee is missing those stacks. So I would suggest if you have possibility uh, in this situation uh, where two of your banshees have full stacks of sword, then I would try to get rid of that sword because it will just take a spot of from your board. And because you need those trappers, uh, the more uh, earth elementals, the more damage you will deal, deal basically. Uh, so I will try to get rid of that. But I don't know if he will have a possibility to do that, of course. Okay, yes. Okay, so he's not going for that because he just uh, debranked his his uh, his scrapper. So now he's trying to get his amulet of growth stacks uh, thanks to the scrapper. Uh, and he will just continue to do that. As you can see, bosses are not hitting him. Death wave has started. Bosses will basically never hit him unless he mess up the timing. Uh, so that's why the deck is so powerful. It is not top tier, of course, because top tier right now, in this week specifically, is Spirit Master Fortuna. But it is very, very expensive deck. Definitely Banshee, uh, Banshee with Mermaid is much cheaper version uh, of the top deck currently. So if you don't have uh, Fortuna or you don't have Spirit Master or units that to play in Spirit Master deck, then I would highly suggest going for Banshee with Mermaid it is, as it is in incredibly effective in Deathwood, specifically in this, uh, this week modifier. Uh, as you can see, he mistimed a little bit the, the, the timing of um, Banshee, um, but it is okay. He, I think he went to 7.1 billion, which in this patch is quite a lot because I think it's around 6 minutes into the death wave. Uh, so we'll just see how he, how he's doing. I think he should go for more more earth elementals because if you play three banshees, then you need like uh, four or even five earth elementals, and not trappers. You don't need so many trappers in my opinion. Like two or three is at max. Uh, but yeah, we are at three minutes into the death wave. Uh, bosses have around 150 million. He is already struggling. Which is surprising because I played like two games of that deck with Zeus and I didn't struggle at that point. Uh, but let's see how he's doing. He's pretty lucky with the boss RNG as it was Gorgon. Previously it was Dark Fist. Uh, so let's just see how he's doing. I'm pretty sure he's lacking damage just because he's not uh, getting enough Earth Elementals on his board. Um, but yeah, let's just see. 15 seconds into the next boss and it will be 4.30 now and what boss it will be it's tribunal doesn't affect him and uh, so it is okay unless it's bedlam or yeah pretty much only bedlam uh, then he should be okay he got hit surprisingly uh, another tribunal uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, he, he will die now. So it is 5 520. Still a very good uh, amount of damage. So I know that this deck can go even, even further because I saw uh, replays, just don't have it now. I saw replays that people go uh, further, like 6 minutes, 630 around. Uh, so it is definitely a really good deck to go for in this week specifically. If you have Zeus, it would be better. Uh, maybe if you have Fortuna, maybe you can also play it with Banshee. Unfortunately, I don't have Fortuna, so I can't test it. But let me know down in the comments how, how it went for you. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. And see you. Hey there, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.